Today is a typical morning on the farm. Our farm animals slowly wake up to start their day. Dad gives mom a kiss before he leaves for work. My mom heads to the barn to feed the animals their breakfast and to get her morning kiss from Daisy the goat. She gives the best kisses, but her breath is kind of stinky. Daisy the goat's breath, not my mom's. I have to make my bed and help my brothers with breakfast while my brothers feed zucchini, rose, and licorice. That's not licorice, that's Little Red. This morning, we are going on an adventure into our small town, Elk River. Let today's story begin. Today's story is called Books, Donuts, and Rocks. Chapter 1. Bookworms. We always come to the library so we can get new books. We get our books from the children's section of the library. You can't miss it. You just have to look up and read the sign on the pillar that says children. Going to the library and finding a new book makes me so excited because when I read, I can be a superhero or go on fun adventures like flying into outer space. Reading is so important. Learning to read was a challenge, but when I started to learn what the letters were and how you put them together, it made me feel like I was growing up. Jesse is still learning to read, so Mom has to help him sometimes. <laughs> I love when Mom sings to us. I like books with ducks. Quack, quack, quack. quack. Jesse, you're so silly. <laughs> Sam, it's my turn to tell them why reading is so cool. I love reading because it helps me learn. Books are the best. After we find the books we want, we have to get them stamped by the librarian. We can have them for two weeks. That's 14 sleeps. Then we have to return them to the librarian. I got I lots of you? scary books. Now we have our books. It's time to get back in the car and head to our next stop. I wonder what it could be. Chapter 2. Donuts. Yum. I hope Asher doesn't sing his silly song. Let's go. Asher, take your medicine. We are all so excited. Mom said that after the library, we can each get a donut from the best donut shop in town. Well, we figure out what donuts we're going to have. Do you know how donuts are made? Let me tell you quickly. Randy the baker says his actual recipe is top secret. First, you add the dry ingredients to the mixer. Then you add the wet ingredients. Mix it up well. You'll know when the dough is ready, when it becomes shiny and yellow. Then you take the mix and add it to another machine that poops it out into the fryer. This is definitely not a place for kids, as the hot oil is very dangerous. Once the donuts have cooked on one side, you flip them over with big chopsticks. Then you take them out of the fryer and let them cool down for a minute or two. Don't forget the gooey sugar icing glaze. That's how donuts are made. Yum! The thing I love most about donuts is I get to share them with my brothers. Back in the car we go. But we have to wait for the train to pass. Hurry up, train! I'm excited to get home. Mom has planned a fun activity with paint and rocks. Chapter 3. Happy Rocks. Let me tell you what our mom has planned for us. A few weeks ago, we found these rocks that had really cool writing on them. My mom thought it would be a good idea for us to make our own colorful rocks with messages on them. First, we have to go find the perfect rocks. We have a big forest behind our house where my brothers and I go on adventures sometimes. 
Our forest is like a big playground. We spend our time exploring, digging for worms, and just having fun. The worm is sticking out of the ground! I know that there are lots of rocks for us to choose from. First, we have to find them. It's about finding the perfect rock. That's a good rock for painting. So now that we've found our rocks, it's time to do some artwork. First things first, we have to wash our rocks to make sure that there's no dirt on them. Dad, let's add our water to the bowl so we can wash our rocks. Ah. Ash, tuck yours in like a little baby off your bath. Like this? Then we dry the rocks, cause the paint won't stick otherwise. Mom tells us what we're going to be doing. And we're going to paint beautiful pictures on them and write... She makes it sound really fun. We have to pick our paintbrush. Mom helps us with choosing the colors. And blue? What yeah. picture do you want to paint with pink? She then squeezes the paint onto a palette. We have lots of colors to choose from. It's hard to decide which ones to pick. I'm going to start with purple. Ash really loves orange. We try our best not to fix the colors. We're mixing up all the colors. All right, maybe that's what happens. Oh well, it happens. That's okay, painting is all about letting your imagination run wild. What's great about painting outside is that our animals always come and see what we're doing. Our dog, Zucchini, loves to be around us. He's like a fluffy brother. Sometimes Licorice or Big Black Cat distracts him. They are best friends that play together all the time. They're always having quick little wrestling matches. Licorice wins most of the time. Now we've finished our painting. Our rocks are complete. It's time to let them dry in the sun for a while. It's a super hot day today, so they should dry quickly. All this painting has made us super hungry. Mom makes the best snacks. Don't forget to wash your hands first. Working with paint gets your hands messy. Then we can enjoy our yummy food. When we're done eating, I'm sure the paint will be dry. The final step is to write our positive messages on the rocks. Hey Sam, what? can you write the messages on our rocks? Hmm, what should I write? Make it what? say lamb dam a dam. Jesse, you're so Damn, silly. <laughs> Putting the finishing touches on Jess's rock. Ash wants to make his own rock. I wonder what he's gonna write. I'm going to write, be kind. Don't say Jesse, Ash, show me your Sam. I love Mom, the gold here. Says what is that? See. Oh, no, don't feel like that's so cool. I love all the gold and the color. Sam, be kind, thanks, love. This is so cool. I love it, buddy. I hope it makes her smile when she reads the messages we wrote. We'll give that one Let's go drop okay? them off at our neighbor's mailbox as a surprise. Even the littlest surprise, when filled with love, put a smile on people's faces. I love to make people smile. That's how we end this story. Wiz, the home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Wiz, that's how easy it is.